this is the model of the integument here. And so this is the hypodermis down here, this is dermis, and then this is epidermis right there. Now, if we start with the epidermis, this is our basal lamina down here. Our first layer is the um, stratum germinativum. Did I screw that up? One, two, three, four. Now, this is our stratum germinativum right here. This is our stratum spinosum, our stratum granulosum, the lucidum, and then the corium. And you can see this is thick skin versus thin skin with no lucidum layer. This is a sudoriferous gland. It's going to dump all the way to the surface. Here's another one here, dumping all the way to the surface. Here's another one here, dumping all the way to the surface. What, what are those? Sudoriferous glands. This is a sebaceous gland. Sebaceous glands dump onto a hair follicle, so you can see how it's going onto a hair. Here's another sebaceous gland dumping onto a hair. Here we have the hair follicle itself, and then this is the shaft of the hair, and this down here is the root of the hair. This muscle that's associated with the hair is called the erector pili muscle. This is a lamellated corpuscle for sensing pressure. This is a tactile corpuscle for sensing touch. These are blood vessels. This is nervous tissue. This is all loose fibrous connective tissue. This is adipose tissue. This is smooth muscle tissue right here. Now if we look at the top of the epidermis, these are our epidermal ridges here that extend through. These are the dermal papilla. This is now the dermis. These are dermal papilla here. And I think they got it all. <laughs>